As Central Albertans start to make plans for a busy summer, the Red Deer Food Bank slows down, but not in client usage, in donations. The demand is staying current with what it was last year. We haven't seen any, uh, any huge increases, which is a blessing, uh, but unfortunately we haven't seen any great downturns either. With every donation made in Red Deer staying in Red Deer, the food bank asks that you give what you would like to receive. Whatever you had on your table last night for supper that came either in a box or a can, those are the kind of things that you can drop in the donation boxes in all the grocery stores. But it isn't just people who are helping the food bank help the people in our community. It's also the businesses, businesses like the Superstore in Red Deer. Our business community and the service club community in this city are, are huge supporters of us. I mean, we've got some very large corporations and companies here in this city that help us every year. And without their support, we would really be in a lot of trouble. We're very community oriented. Uh, we uh, give donations um, all over the place uh, within Red Deer. We've uh, donated this year $40,000 already to the Red Deer community. Everything that's in the side of the right hand side of the door goes directly straight to the food bank and they, they come actually, the food bank comes and actually picks it all up. With close to 9,000 Canadians using the food banks every month, the demand remains. It's the quality of um, uh, life that uh, we can provide for everybody that they get a, a great meal and it takes everybody's help. Uh, not everybody's as fortunate as everybody else and uh, everybody needs help. For Go Central, I'm Lex Ingle.